Mr. Hugh Bursley boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the red bull shorts, trimmed with white. And the weight he's held, 10 cell, 5 pounds, 8 ounces. Tonight is his 15th professional contest, and it's the Carona Catalunya in Nicaragua, Aki Este Korean, Jose Mendoza and Tato. And the boxing again, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the border pool shorts, trimmed with gold and white. And the way he's still tennis star, very fancy six times is a perfect record to see him brings to the ring. Some contests, some of them, three of those wins coming by way of knockout, presenting from Europe's entertainment capital, Blackpool, the undefeated Jake Jones. Thank you, sir. The ball game is running from Bernie, we thank you. And our referee, Jamie Kirkpatrick, six, three minutes. Concluding house of dealing is Blackpool Shake Up broken up the blue corner against Gavin Mendoza from the crack broken up the blue corner. Yeah, on paper, looks like a tough test for Jake tonight. Jake, in our opinion, or my opinion, in Mike's opinion, both of our opinions, one of the top prospects look out for in the northwest. And this looks like on, on paper a good fight. Mendoza, he got seven wins and five stoppages. When he had eight fights, he was six and two. He's lost five, he's never been stopped. Gone on two, 27 years of age. Jake Abrol, 20 years of age. Turned pro when he's 18, September 2021. Trained by his father, Andy, top coach. Good man, too. Nice fast hands there by Jake. Yeah. Referee for this last one, Jamie Kirkpatrick of Preston. Comes to team. Myself, Lee, top of Whitehead, Mike, all action gone of Salford. Jake will have to stay switched on tonight. He doesn't mind me saying this. He had, he had one or two fights, he's, you know, he's, he's switched off at times. You need to stay focused, stay sharp, but it's all about the opponent in front of you. Looks like a tricky customer this one, so Jake will have to stay switched on. I'm sure we'll get a good performance out of him tonight. Quite a wide stance from Mendoza. Yeah, but I broke. Just be patient, Jake. He's not rushing in. So uh, six rounds. Not too much in this first round, but Jake's edge dip. Yes, certainly. Second down, round two. Yeah, boom, boom. Shit, we're in round two. Red corner, Abro. Blue corner, Mendoza. Give enough in first round. Jake, 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 Jake got the better shots. Mendoza didn't really do much. Moving about. Yeah, a, bit of, a bit of a wrecky first round, that for Jake. Just. See what Mendoza's got to offer. Good show they've got different good shots, are they, Mike? They both look very similar. 
A caricature in him, Mendoza. Jake. Nice shot there by April. Mendoza just opening up. Quite happy to that exchange. Fainting there by Jake Abro. Oh, it's worth those little shots on the inside, don't really score. I think you need to get this jab going. You've got a right hand. Get back to basics, Jake, and get this jab going. Nice left hook there, but counter by Mendoza. At the moment, to me, so far, Lyme Mendoza seems to sharp at the punch, yeah. yeah, he does look like a little bit of a live wire, doesn't he? Not throwing much, though. Like you say, both guys are a little bit wary of each other, I think. Jake needs to stay on it, though. Nice left foot to Can land a few clean shots, maybe. Step it up a little bit there and give a confidence to up his game a little bit. Still early in the fight though. Backhand, turns A little bit better by Jake. Only slight, I think I've all sucked that again. Second down, round three. So two rounds down, third round now. Getting there. Uh, maybe Jake now needs to start trying a few little different things. Yeah, totally agree, Mike. Jay's got to pin him down. And Dozer moving about. Nice, nice battle there by Abril. Not better by Jake. He just, he just stepped it up a little bit there. Yeah, he's got a jab going. He's got a jab going a little bit back more. Mendoza is threatening a lot, but that's the only thing. Good work by Abro. So hopefully now Jake's found his range with those shots. Jake in, but he's actually not doing much himself. Nice job on 
Mendoza. Probably Avril's best round comes to the end of the third round now. Yeah, I think he just steps up a little bit that round. Very strange end. Boom, boom, shake the room round four. Schedule six threes. Blue corner Mendoza. Red corner Abro. So that's another Mike. We've got three rounds up to Abro. Third is probably his best round. <coughs> Mendoza's fretting a lot, but not actually doing anything. He's got the skills. Southpaw. Jake needs to push him on his back foot a little bit more and let his shots go. While he's throwing, Mendoza's going to be able to throw his own shots. He's, he's probably looking to throw and would prefer to cover up. Jake will have more success. Better by Jake. on the backhand so if he comes over with the left foot like he just did quite effective Draven Mendoza he's better when he's moving forward and scoring going backwards and not throwing anything I'd like Jake to have a sustained attack and see how it goes a little bit like that but even more see how he copes with it under pressure Mendoza Go there, Jake, while he's in the pocket. Second down, round five. Yeehaw! Boom, boom. Get the room pulled to a round. Final contest of the evening. Six threes. Abro red corner, Mendoza blue corner. Well, Myself and Mike have got it four rounds with Jake Abro. That's not been his best performance. I'd like him to step it up and have a sustained attack on Mendoza so he comes under pressure. Mendoza's just having his own way moving around the ring, flashing up pounds. Good defence, showing off a little bit. Showing good ring craft though, showing good footwork. Yeah, I think he's just uh, letting Mendoza out a little bit too easy. He needs to, needs to put a bit of pressure on him. Yeah, he's, having, he's having too much time on his own Mendoza. I 
don't know the instruction. Father Andy's given him. But if I was I'd stay in him now, keep working, working around the running, bring the shots up through the middle. Mendoza just happy to stay on the outside, showboat, do nothing, just earn his money. Whereas I thought Jake, he can aim for himself, get Mendoza first one, stop him, would be nice. Put jab to the body there by Abro. Well, Jake's winning the fight, but he's not causing Mendoza too many problems. Mendoza looks quite relaxed. He'll probably be happy to do this for another round. Might try and get a bit ambitious in the last round. He's going to be letting Mendoza take the centre of the ring. He's getting back to get onto the ropes. Make a fight out for this last round. Let's see what we've got in the tank. Second round, the sixth and final round. Yeehaw! Boom, boom. Shake the room. So last. I think Jake needs to stay focused this round. I think he might get ambitious, Mendoza. He'll be in the last round. Is that comfortable so far, even though Jake's winning? Today, I will make a statement here in this last round. And there's the showboating, showing boxing flashes. Shot, nice shot by Apple. And Jake Apple versus Graven Mendoza, round six. The last part of the evening on the Steve Hood show at the uh, Macron Stadium in Bolton. survive as well. Plenty of fighting, plenty of slipping, plenty of movement. He did win his first six fights, Mendoza, in the Coagula. So he does know what he's doing. He is capable. But Jake will have that on his mind. So he's going to sit outside the ring here and say, you know, we should do this, think Jake should do that. You know, he's the one in there. Himself and Lee have been in there, we know. You can't always have it your own way. Things don't always work out. Nothing's ever perfect. But, you know, Jake's, Jake's winning the fight. It's a good experience fight for him. Just don't get too complacent with this kid in the last round. Showboating now, Mendoza. Yeah, obviously, showboating's not going to win him the fight. He's not, he's not winning the fight anyway, I don't think he's going to think he's going to fight, but you know what? The journeyman with his showboat is just showing his, his footwork, his, 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 his ring graft. It's good. I mean, I do think Jay needs to really throw it on him. A bit late now for this fight. So he's got that 60-54 on our card, Mike. Yeah, I think Jake's won every round. Well, I know he's won every round, really. Unless we're seeing something that... Ladies and gentlemen, just before we render the decision, these car keys are still dirty, something's not getting on. 
So the car keys are still down here if you want to come and repossess them. After six regular rounds of absorbing Super World Toy Expansion, Jenny Fenton scores the answer 60 points to 55 points for your winner. Now the defeat of the game, professional contest by Michael Dixon Campbell. And your appreciation, please, the good boxes from the driver, giving it to you. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP Boxing Promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.